Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today I'm going to be unboxing and putting together and of course testing slash doing a review of this Pittsburgh automotive rolling chair and this is actually the pneumatic one so it goes from 15 inches all the way up to 20 inches has a 300 pound maximum seat capacity and of course it can do 360s and all kinds of crazy things because it has four of these two and a half inch casters that are nylon powder coated and it has a little tray here that uh, you know can hold nuts bolts and uh, really the main purpose that i would like this for is just for like doing brake jobs and stuff like that when you're kind of you know sitting low to the ground and everything so yeah i'm pretty excited this was 29.99 at the time of me buying it and i don't really know if there's any other cool oh yeah a couple other cool tips and tricks on the back here so yeah the actual seat itself i guess swivels along with the actual casters so that's you know kind of cool i mean i know a lot of the chairs like for example i have these two guys right here that are creepers and chairs and you know with them you kind of have to actually swivel the whole entire chair so that's kind of cool that you can just swivel this rather than having to move your wheels too especially if your wheels are stuck or something maybe you're on gravel or dirt outside but yeah other than that i think we've gone over pretty much everything so let's go ahead and unbox and see what we get so i'm actually pretty surprised in this little box here i really thought like the casters would have been kind of just sitting in the box and everything but it actually basically came put together so all we have to do is take this pneumatic ram right here oh, maybe and there we go and then you're just going to drop that down into here and this just basically sits in with pressure it'll kind of wedge itself in over time too to where it'll be pretty hard to get out and then as you can see this nice uh you know cushion seat already is screwed in it's basically like a wooden base um, with a metal plate and then you have your actual pneumatic uh i guess you call it lever here that will press this button right here this little orange guy right here and that's how it raises up and down so right now it's probably at like its minimum height if i had to guess and there you go <laughs> i mean it's already put together so yeah i really thought there was going to be a lot more to it they even actually used um lock washers they use normal washer and then a lock washer and then they use this capped nut i mean i really can't complain about anything on this so far i was thinking you know it was going to be the typical um you know just single washer and then a nut like you know usually harbor freight stuff's kind of cheap obviously it's harbor freight so i was going to put loctite on it and kind of go fancy with it but we're really not going to need any of that since we have lock washers and everything so i'm going to go ahead and put the chair on the ground here and yeah i mean it rolls super easy so that's that's definitely nice to see now over time of course you know these wheels might need to get a little bit of wd-40 or grease in them if they start to kind of lock up on you but let's go ahead and sit down on it and uh yeah i mean it feels pretty nice it feels pretty sturdy i mean i can definitely say like if you if you sit too far um like on the back i can definitely feel how if you're going like backwards let's say it could come you know a little bit unsturdy or a little unsteady so yeah right now we are at the absolute lowest height which you know it's not too bad i mean i definitely wish it was like a little bit lower they have an idea on how low i wish it was and let's see maybe it already is that low and i'm just being no okay yeah so i really love this little goofy seat this is like a hobby seat that um you can get from like amazon walmart all kinds of places that's for like watching football games and stuff and it's basically like a portable seat it folds and it gets tiny like i mean it literally can fit in your pocket I think it might even be called a pocket chair. And um, I love the height of this thing. You can see how dirty it is uh, with grease and like paint because I love using this thing for doing like brake jobs and stuff. It's very, um, you know, unsturdy and everything. And obviously if you're even slightly larger than I would say like maybe 5'9", um, and slightly larger than maybe like 170 pounds, this is a pretty difficult seat to sit on because I mean, look how small this is my hand on it and it almost takes up the whole thing so yeah it's definitely not great for um anyone who's not very small uh so it works for me because you know i'm just smaller stature but this seat right here up to 300 pounds and i'd say like pretty much any height person can sit on it let's go ahead and put it to its max height which it only gains five inches which really isn't you know yeah i mean that's not bad so i would say at this height it's pretty much like a normal so i'm about five eight maybe five nine and yeah it's not too far down at all you know so if you have uh, you know, if not the greatest knees or back or whatever, definitely not too bad. And as you can see, we're a lot taller than this tree now. But, you know, like I said, it gets it gets low enough. It gets the job done. Um, I would definitely be happy doing, like, brake jobs and stuff on this. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> you know, there's really not a whole lot more to talk about at this point. I, I'm kind of surprised that there wasn't more um, stuff to put together. I thought, you know, the... Uh, casters and everything would come out of the actual uh, seat itself but yeah I mean it looks like it'll roll over everything pretty easy I am kind of 
curious to see like if we hit a bump or something what tries to okay that's really not bad i was wondering if maybe it'd be really easy to tip over but it's not as bad as i think it would be i mean i think if you were to roll over like a nut bolt rock in the shop or anything as long as you're not going backwards really quick i think you're gonna be fine and especially if you're not sitting super far back i will say if you're sitting like let's say like this i can definitely feel it's it's getting pretty teetery towards the back like I mean, it's holding on, but it's kind of holding on for dear life. Like if I lean back much further, I could definitely give it um, to get it to flip. But if you kind of sit more, uh, you know, center or forwards, you know, obviously then if you're going backwards and you hit something, you're going to be just fine. So I definitely love to see that. And now in terms of like the little storage area, it's not like it's it's not super um, tall. I mean, it has a really short lip here. So, you know, you're going to be able to put like brake pads, brake pad hardware, um, you know springs for shoes and stuff like that you can obviously fit quite a few nuts and bolts in here It does have like these little kind of rigid dividers that well, I mean they're kind of dividers so Theoretically, yeah, if you're doing like a bigger job You might be able to put different hardware in each one But I will say it'd probably be pretty easy for the stuff to just go over these humps um, and get mixed up But yeah, I mean overall I definitely like it and like I said I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk much more because it's just not a whole lot to talk about so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other uh, main YouTube channel, Toasty Rose and also Toasty Clips. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.